This is our Forex blog uh, video for February 3rd, 2017, and I just want to go over our stats uh, for the various days of the week and then show some of the charts. Uh, these stats, I've been doing them the same way for the last two years, so you can compare them uh, to all the hundreds of other videos I've done in the past. Each day I fix some of the patterns that I feel need more additional rules, and so those losing trades don't show up in here. And I also code up and add some new patterns. So obviously those wouldn't have happened live. But you, it does give you a, a view over time to see that there's more trades, the winning percentage is continuing to creep upward, uh, and it's also uh, continuing to find much bigger wins than there are losses. So here's Friday, and I'll just select them all. A lot of trades, 54 trades, uh, 517 pips net. Uh, the losses were 7.6 pips on average. And because of some of the big wins here, the wins were uh, about 20. So it's almost three times bigger wins and losses. On Tuesday, again, lots of trades. 101 trades that day. 221 pips. The average win is uh, 13. And there's a ton of losses that day, unfortunately. Uh, but the average loss is only 7.7. .7. So even though there's more losers than wins, uh, the wins are still uh, you know, bigger than the, the losers. Here's Wednesday. 607 pips, a lot of big wins, so the average is 23, the losses are only 7. So three times bigger win the loss and about 50-50 win loss ratio that day. On Tuesday, uh, 535 pips, the wins 22, very big average win, the losses are only 8. So two and a half times bigger win than loss. And it looks like I might have not recorded uh, one day. That's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, I must have skipped a day and not put it in, in the stats for some reason. Sometimes I forget that. Uh, here's the Euro dollar. Uh, you can see it didn't do very well at the end of the day. Um, missed some of these earlier trades. Previous day, you know, very small losses, average wins. Here's the Euro yen. This one had a nice big win at the end. Small loss, small loss. Previous day did pretty well. Win, win, small loss. Small win, small win, very small loss. Small loss, win. Here's the pound. Nice 25, 30 pip win there. Huge 50 or 60 pip win there. 10 pip win. Small win, pretty much break even, 8 pip to 10 pip loss, small win, that will go to the pound, nice 25 pip win there, uh, about a 5 or 10 pip win there, 10 pip win there, 30 or 40 pip win there. The Australian uh, had a really nice buy at the low that was good for about 40 pips, small loss, win, Pretty much end of the day, break even. Dollar yen, big 40 pip win at the end there, 5 pip win here. Small 15, 20 pip win, huge uh, 50 or 70 pip win there. New Zealand dollar, 25, 30 pip win. Dollar Swiss had a uh, small win, small win, 15, 20 pip win, 20 pip win. Very similar uh, with the dollar CAD. Small loss, you got it back on the next trade. Big win, 40 pip win, uh, 5 or 8 pip loss, followed by a 25, 30 pip win, and 5 pip loss. So it kind of gives you a feel for how the, the wins are bigger than the losses. And usually there's not more than two losing trades in a row, uh, but sometimes you can have three to five. It occasionally happens.